So I'm back with another quick tip of the day. I've been having a lot of subscribers uh, ask where do I get my parts from? Uh, how do I find the part number? Um, so I thought I'd uh, shoot a quick video and uh, show you guys where I get my info from. And uh, hopefully it helps you out. So today I'm working on this Polaris Sportsman. And it turns out the radiator is going to need to be replaced. Um, it was in a crash and it's got some issues with it down there. It's a little, a little mashed and it's not circulating properly. So I'm going to have to go order a new radiator or possibly a used one if I could find a decent one. And uh, just to give you guys a little tip, um, I buy a lot of stuff off uh, eBay. And uh, if that's what you guys are doing, you can't rely on the seller um, to tell you exactly what part fits what years. Let me give you an example. Um, this is a 2004 Polaris Sportsman 500. This is a one year only radiator. Um, I've checked out eBay and so far I've seen sellers say, oh, here's a radiator from 2003 up to 2007. Wrong. I mean, let me give you a perfect example. Okay, this radiator has upper hose, filler hose, the uh, hose going back in, and another hose up top. There is no temperature sensor in the radiator whatsoever. This has the temperature sensor on it. The ports are different. So it's kind of like what I'm saying, you know. So I'm going to show you how to find the correct part number for your model and year. Hang tight. So you get on the old interweb here and you click, uh, type in Partzilla, Polaris, ATV, select your year. You got a 2004. And 500 cooling system. Well, uh, this is actually a bad picture, but it will tell me the part number for the, um, the radiator. There we go. 124005. Well, that's a bad picture, bad example. Let me give you a better example. Uh, maybe this will do it. I said there's a lot of things to look through. Uh, just look under cooling system. Uh, sometimes uh, this website's a little tricky to navigate. Mm, well, I'm not going to take the time and uh, find this out, but so you kind of get the idea. Let's go back to the 2004 so I can show you. Cooling system. Oh, there we go. There's a good picture. I'll give you an exploded view. And then you can zoom in. I'll show you part number five. Part number five down here is the radiator. I'll give you the exact part. So then when you go look on eBay, I'll type that in 2004. Polaris Sportsman 500 radiator with the part number and they will all pop up. So I'll just kind of double check. I like uh, going off the part number itself. Sometimes you get uh, sellers you know, like this. You know, This one actually says the part number in it. This one doesn't. You know, so is that the right radiator? How do you know for sure? You know? So I thought I'd give you guys a little tip. That's my quick tip of the day. Uh, hope you can uh, find your parts a lot easier. And uh, 
you know, half the time I'll buy used stuff, like uh, even a camshaft. If I can find a good used camshaft, I'll buy that. Um, look at these brand new radiators. They're 70 bucks compared to, you know, some crappy radiator somebody else is selling. Um, so I hope you uh, like this video. Hit like and subscribe. And like always, till next time.